Hello Aquarius, Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. We are working with the Wheel of Change Tarot this week, pulling out for our environment, our connections, and our contributions. Keep in mind, this is a general reading and it will not resonate for every Aquarius placement out there. Feel free to check out any of my other readings. I do these for all 12 zodiac signs. But please do use your own intuition to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you want to book a personal with me, you can do so on my website, amyenergy.online. All right, getting into environment, we are clarifying today with the Pride Tarot. All right, Aquarius, so the Five of Wands coming out here, I definitely feel like there could be some conflict, right? We're learning some lessons here. With the Ace of Wands, I do feel like there is a new beginning. Okay, kind of some fresh energy as far as our environment is going here. Okay, Strength card is coming out, though, with the Knight of Pentacles. So I do feel like even though there is this new beginning, and we do, you know, for lack of a better term, like kind of have like a fire under our ass here, it could still be a process that's moving a little bit slowly, okay? So we could be enduring a lot of challenge right now, but we're staying very focused and heart-centered, okay? So definitely be gentle with yourself, Aquarius. We have the Seven of Wands clarifying this Knight of Pentacles here. So we could really be trying to push something to happen before it's ready, right? Um, and that's understandable. Maybe we're trying to push for resources or something that we need. So we're really trying to push that forward. So I'm feeling some challenge here. You know, the Three of Swords is on the bottom of the deck, right? So. This can just be a very uncomfortable truth that we're sitting with, right? This can be the energy of betrayal. And we have take flight coming out. So, I mean, maybe Aquarius, if you're someone who's able to afford this type of thing, maybe it's time for a little bit of a vacation or something here. Okay, very interesting. I actually just want to pull a couple more cards and clarify this situation. Okay, yeah, the Hanged Man and the Knight of Cups. There's a dream that we have here with the Knight of Cups. Okay, and it's just, we're not going about things the right way here, or, you know, not 100% the right way. And I feel like that's why we're, we're enduring. We're staying focused on what our heart really wants here with the strength card. But I feel like maybe a little bit less energy. Like you don't have to put so much energy toward this, right? Put your energy into yourself and it will kind of overflow. And then you know, that we might get more clarity or more movement that way. But I feel like right now it's like trying to force anything to happen. It's just not helpful. It's just creating more stress and making you more tired. Okay, let's move into our connections here. We have the Seven of Cups coming out. All right, Aquarius. So we could be a little bit confused, okay, but I feel like we may have multiple options here for a love situation. Ten of Pentacles and the Messenger, yeah. I feel like our community is very fruitful at this time. 
Aquarius, um, I definitely can see the potential for us to connect with a lot of people, and that could be creating a little bit of confusion for us. Okay, yeah, it is. It's creating this internal conflict, okay? It could be that, like, every person we meet, it's just, like, not someone we can see ourselves with or we have, like, a lot of um, emotional concern. It could be, you know, we could be fighting internal conflicts of, like, just not fully being able to trust in a person. Okay, with the messenger here, we could be just very serious. I'm feeling that. Yeah, I feel like, you know, this is deep, right? Because it has to do with, like, society and the way that society tells us things are supposed to be and supposed to look like. And so maybe it's not, like, you don't even want to admit that you need somebody, right? You want to be able to stand on your own and be just a force in the world, right? But at the same time, Aquarius, it's kind of exhausting you because that's not really what you want, right? We're still having this internal conflict because I feel like we do want not only love, but we want really strong community connections, okay? But the Empress is on the bottom, so I do feel like this has to do with the way that you love and the kind of love that you want to attract. So it's very interesting. We have get inspired on the bottom of the deck. So it's actually interesting the message that I'm getting this with the with the seven of cups. I feel like, you know, we could be feeling like we're inspired by things that don't make sense or are not realistic when it comes to love. However, do not underestimate your power, Aquarius. If you're willing to accept nothing less, then you're going to get exactly what you want. And the only thing I'm really seeing here is like you can't bring love into your life if you're not open to love. Right, So you have to really get in this empress energy where you're open to that kind of love. But then you can definitely have it, right? Don't think that it's not possible or that it's too dreamy, right? If you're inspired, get, in, get inspired is coming out, right? But I'm feeling it's more like we're already inspired. And like I feel like we see it as a burden, but it's actually not, right? Because we have the two tens. So it's actually valuable. Like your inspiration that you have, it's very valuable. And all you really have to do is open up and be willing to love. And you will attract the love that you want into your life. I'm very confident in that. Dream big, right? You can have whatever you want. Beautiful. Moving on to our contribution. Okay, we have. The Hierophant coming out, which is the same card, different deck uh, for the messenger. Okay, so I am feeling this, like, where I feel we could be fiercely independent, like we could be someone who wants to really change the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. I just want to clarify this Five of Swords really quick here. Why is this Five of Swords here for Aquarius? Two of Wands. Yes. Yeah. We quite literally here want to change the world. Like we want to have a big impact. We want to be someone of importance. And you already are that. Even if you're just at the beginning of your journey here, which I feel you are because we have the Page of Swords here. We also have the Princess of Swords, same card, different deck, over your entire reading. So, you know, you have to understand, like, release some of this pressure off yourself. You're putting too much pressure on yourself, Aquarius. Like, you're, you can't 
change the world in one day, but you definitely can change the world, okay? You are a person of importance, and you just have to know that. Knowing that is what's going to open up this flow and open up this support coming in from the universe, okay? Wow, it's, it's really beautiful, Aquarius. I'm truly humbled to be doing your reading today, okay, because this is a, a really gorgeous reading. With the Two of Wands, you know, we're just in an in-between phase right now. And there is a reason for that. It's preparing you for what you're going to do. So don't feel like you're never going to get there. You are going to get there. But this moment of tension, you know, is we need it. We need these in-between moments, right? If every moment was amazing, we wouldn't have any appreciation when amazing things happen. Shine bright is coming out. So really know who you are and pinch pennies. So yeah, along those lines of knowing who you are, like it's better to pinch pennies than to do something just for the money right now because it will be too much of an internal conflict for you. Right? With the five of swords, you know, you could have people in your life that, you know, we could be having situations with regarding, you know, the way we're choosing to spend our time right now, because I do feel like we could be very much in an artistic, creative mode here. And like I said, in, in between. So we could be getting pressure from family or people around us to do things a certain way, the way they think we should. And maybe we're feeling that judgment and we're feeling that pressure on us. But it's very important that you stand up for yourself, okay? Stand up for your idea because, again, it's better to pinch pennies and shine bright than it is to dull your light just for a paycheck, okay? We don't do that. We definitely don't do that if we want to have a big impact like you do, right? Because the Wheel of Fortune is here, and it's responding to you standing your ground. It's responding to you speaking your truth. If you stop sticking up for yourself, if you stop sticking up for your idea, the wheel of fortune isn't going to turn for you, right? It, this, the universe isn't going to come and put wind in your sails if you're sailing in the wrong direction. All right, let's get you an oracle over your reading here, Aquarius. Messages just flying out quick today. But it's a really beautiful reading. All right. We have forgiveness coming out and protection. So let's read from the book here. Sunset glow, forgiveness. The sacred landscape wants you to know it is human to want to hold on to the past, our memories, experiences, and relationships. However, there can be times when we are carrying so much of the past that we can't fully see the present. The past doesn't need to equal the future. Just because you had a pattern or re recurring challenge in the past doesn't mean that it needs to recur in the future. The key is to be willing and ready to simply and cleanly let go of the hold that the past has on you. The past is gone, and it's okay to let it go. The way to do this is to fully immerse yourself in the here and now. Be super aware of the sights, sounds, smells, textures, and energy of your present. When you do this, the past simply vanishes and the glory of the present emerges. Beautiful. Let's get protection. Guardian Oak. The sacred landscape wants you to know. One of the most potent signs on the sacred landscape is the ancient oak. It carries numerous meanings. You are protected. You can weather anything. Your roots go deep. You are brave, and you can survive anything. Stand 
strong. You carry the energy of a leader and you have great authority in life. Great wisdom is expanding within you and others sense this. This card can also mean to protect your assets. Take care to guard and protect your home, your loved ones, and yourself. Wow. And let's get us an affirmation as well for our week. All right, Aquarius, if you want to book a personal with me, do so at amyenergy.online. If you want to donate to the channel, I am at Amy Energy on Cash App or Venmo. Follow me on Instagram at Amy Energy. Follow me on TikTok at Amy Energy 3. All right. We have nothing is impossible for the heart. Love will always find a way. Okay, screenshot that. Take that with you. Say it every day this week. Get that good energy flowing in your life, Aquarius. Nothing is impossible for the heart. Love will always find a way. Wow, love that for you, Aquarius. I am going to leave it there. Please do like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything you do to help support my work here, I really appreciate so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.